welcome back to another episode of Unhinging the Beast. Today, we're going to try and work on some automatic farms. First thing we're going to do is start up a steel, uh, that's not really a farm, yeah, steel factory, like I stated last episode. Um, yeah, because it's not actually producing steel, just refining it. And then hopefully we're going to get a lithium farm or the like the products of clay farm and then maybe get some sodium per sulfate mine. right so i see as you can see i've updated this a little bit many more barrels already got a barrel of charcoal which is really nice yeah anyways we have all the materials right here we have hoppers chests and lots of coke <laughs> So much coke. Um, we could probably make it right here. Um, I guess so. This, I guess, this could be like the farming section because there's an entire other um, area on the other side of this uh, cliff here. Where we can build things and on the cliffs and yeah okay yeah I was just worried about maybe like this looks like a good place to put like entrance to a building or something yeah it doesn't matter um oh dang it I forgot one thing uh I'll I guess I'll build one of them first so we are going to get um. Okay, first off we're going to have our output chest right here should be fun. I guess I will build it into the wall. I think that's going to look nicest. So, move. Uh, we're going to have our output chest right here. Okay, there we go. We'll put the blast furnace on top. Okay, three. This is a very compact design. Okay, and now we're going to get a few coke ovens on the side right here. First one goes uh, like so. There we go, and then the second one on this side. There. There we go, and the final one goes behind it. Now, coke ovens are kind of weird, or even just railcraft multi blocks are kind of weird because um, if I were to place a block here, or if I were to finish this, this can't finish even though it's diagonal, which is odd. So I, c I couldn't put these flush. Right. Dig this out. And this should produce steel at a fairly consistent 
or a very consistent rate, but a fairly quickly. And we're going to get two of them up and running. And yeah, just feed it coal and iron. I guess I could have used the charcoal from the farm, which is right beside this, but I don't know. Also, the creosote. Huh, didn't think about that yet. Um, yeah, what am I going to do with the creosote? Something I'll have to figure out later. Anyways, we're going to put some shoots here because they're cheaper than hoppers like so right yeah decorate the landscape a little bit and then we're gonna put uh, a stack of coal in each and then three stacks of iron and yeah we should be good Uh, yeah, that, that looks good. good. What? How did that not... What? Dang it, Coke Oven. There we go. So there's a basic steel factory. Looks kind of derpy. But, um, I'm going to get the other things, like the other blast furnace from inside my base, and move it over here along some coal and iron, and then... We'll see how this works. The disassembly has begun. Looks so ugly without it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let's go back. Oh, uh, we didn't bring the iron. Well, that took a lot longer than I expected. I didn't have the iron ready, and so problems and other problems and processing time. But let's go. Once again, I do have my mic routed back to my headset, so if I have trouble talking, that's probably why. Okay. Set up the other one. And then we can get this thing started. There we go. And now we can put in a stack of coal into each one of these. Nice. And then we're going to put three stacks of iron into each one of these. And we should be producing steel. Um, we do have a lot of steel right now, but if we're going to be storing every liquid in a giant steel tank, um, we need more. Can I? Nailed it. Okay. And there we go. Our steel farm is kind of set up. Um, I might put like a skin on it later. But yeah. Um, I'm going to place this one last piece of dirt. And then we'll get going to um, the dead, not, not the dead lands. The place with all the clay. Yeah. Okay, um, so we're on our way to the biome over there, and also um, I was researching uh, good power options because uh, the lava, the, the, the lava well, the lava pump, um, it finally ran out of lava, 
I do have about one MFSU full of lava, uh, full of power, but that's not going to last too long. Um, so I was looking at the uh, Greg's, yeah, Greg's distillery, and that produces a lot of fuel. Um, not enough to make it self-sustaining. Uh, like with the MFR oil fabricator, but it does produce a lot of power. I just came all the way out here with nothing. Oh my god. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go back and get all the things. Okay, so we have our chemical reactor which is made like so. And this is how we're going to be turning our sodium cells into the sodium persulfate cells. Then we have the electrolyzer, four automatic macerators that I use tungsten to make, and a machine box, a transformer upgrade, and a stack of solar panels. So this is pretty amazing. I have a sneaking suspicion that I won't be ready though um, because something is going to go wrong. 64 solar panels. And... Are you kidding me? Ah, okay, wait. Um, I need to... I should probably just be able to do this. Like my background. My background is pretty cool. Um... Can fake Greg tech. I think it's just the default Greg tech. Fig soul. What? Compact. Solar. Array. Okay, maybe not that one. Let's block solar. What the heck? Okay, this has to be the one then. Uh, solar. Next solar. There we go. True. True, Eru, <laughs> and true. All right, and then I did mess up something up here. Okay, this should work now. Hopefully, I don't have to restart the game. And I have to restart my game. Okay, I'll be right back. So we are, sh or should be back. Um, hopefully this works. I can't remember. I think I need a, a low voltage transformer. And that might be a pain just a bit. Uh... Oh, no, just a circuit. And... MV needs a transformer upgrade, so I'm gonna need another one of those. Um, I, yeah, I'll actually be back when I have that. So making these circuits is taking the longest damn time. My God, it's like I probably should have, like calculated it, maybe, perhaps, but like seriously. 80 seconds times 8 circuits and then we need that. Well, anyways, I was able to watch like two 5-minute YouTube videos. Yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, finally, I think a few days has passed. Minecraft days, that is. Yeah, we have 8 low-voltage solar panels and then we have 1 
medium voltage solar panel and look at that it hardly took any iron to make that which is one of the best things in Greg Tech uh, because solar panels are actually panels uh, you don't need iron for them I just place them down on a imagination or block whatever it's called machine block you just need your imagination Jesus uh, I can't remember how SpongeBob said that Ah, memes. Okay. So, let's finally get over there. We have the hoppers, we have the chemical reactor, that we don't need that yet. Electrolyzer, macerators, machine box. I would have liked an MFE over there, but uh, we don't need one. I'm... I don't know. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I should pick up the clay with my drill, or with my axe, my saw, because there's a silk touch on it. Uh, I think maybe maybe the chainsaw actually might might be better. So, um, yeah, I think we're all ready to go. And unfortunately, I can't get a second instance of Feed the Beast uh, running on this computer. Um, for some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble trying to uh, install or export it to uh, multi-MC, which is what most people use to get multiple instances of Minecraft running at the same time. Uh, so yeah, I'm having trouble with that. For some reason, it doesn't load the mods, just loads Minecraft 1.5.2, and it's it's just frustrating. So, when I do the time lapse of mining all the clay, uh, you're just gonna see flashing colors. Yeah. Or, you know what, I don't even think I need to show mining. Might show like little clips of it or something. I don't understand why, uh, Minecraft stops your sprint once you reach certain points of your hunger. So as soon as you lose saturation, uh, it stops your sprint. As soon as you get down to uh, eight and a half drumsticks, so one and a half uh, short, just so you can't regen, it stops your sprint. And then I think like one more time when you're at five or something. Yeah, I don't know. So we're going to set this up. Uh, on the other side of this, so on the island over here. Okay, so, um, let's get the chest first. This is the output chest. Hopper here. Oh my god. I didn't bring cables. How wonderful is that? Okay, electrolyzer, and then we get the macerators, and they automatically export. I placed that chest wrong. Or no, the hopper wrong. Okay, hopper goes on top. And the electrolyzer. Then the macerators. And then we need to tower up a bit. And the four macerators are, I think, just a little bit too slow for the electrolyzer, but it doesn't matter too much. There. And there and there. Okay. So now it's actually impossible to reach the electrolyzer. What we can do is we can set the energy output on these so that uh, they automatically output energy as well into the electrolyzer. So the electrolyzer processing clay dust needs... Um, what was it? 50 EU per tick. 
and then each macerator requires three EU per tick. So that comes to a total of 62, and I am producing 64. So that's pretty perfect, if you ask me. Um, we also forgot to make a low voltage transformer. So we're gonna have to go back to base. There we go. Machine box is pointing downwards. Transformer upgrade and medium voltage solar panel. This is now creating MV power if it could. All right. So uh, we're gonna put clay blocks in these chests. They're gonna get macerated down. We're gonna put some cells in here and output everything into this chest. And it is perfect. So we need one, two, three, four, eight cables, just low voltage, so copper should be fine. And then I'll get to mining. So I guess I'll see you back when I'm ready to start mining. So that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, not the LV transformer, but all these cells because for every four stacks of clay, we need five stacks of cells. Um, technically, it's for every um, eight stacks of clay dust. And I also realized that I did have a jetpack. So, yeah. Yeah, so we need five stacks of cells, cells, cells. Yeah, and nothing should be going there. Good. We're going to get the power down. Those should be powered up. Those should also be powered up. Okay. And let's start digging. So I was talking about the, the what power source. Um... I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah, the oil power source. And that takes so much redstone to make, it's ridiculous. So I need a, or not redstone, chrome, but from redstone. So I need uh, to centrifuge, then electrolyze, um, 62 stacks of redstone to make the distillery and to make the uh, other thing, uh, the advanced machine casings. So yeah, that's, um, <laughs> I'm on the way to that. I have two stacks of rubies that I won't be using because I have all the lithium ever. Um, so I can use those to make chrome, but even with that, I need 43 stacks of redstone. Right now, I think I have 36. Um, so just maybe a few more miners, and then hopefully I'll have enough resources to make that. And then, like I said, it's not self-sustaining, but, um... We have so much oil over there that it's not, it's gonna be enough power for some time. Um, yeah, I think that's really all I have to talk about. If that's all, then I'm just gonna keep mining. You might see a speed up, you might see a skip. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get four stacks of clay. And I'm going to place them in chests and show you how it works. And then I am going to my nether four stacks of clay. So I will be back um, or speed this. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to skip it. Um, I'll be back when I have all this clay mined out. Look how small of a corner this took out. And I have four stacks of clay. So this biome is ridiculously overpowered uh wait okay i'm back yeah 
so, so overpowered. Anyways, let's test this out. Two stacks of clay in there. Two stacks of clay in there. Macerators are macerating. I'll take this out for now. No mobs. No creepers around. Okay, and we should see the clay dust coming in in all, like, about bouts of eight. Which is what we want, because each clay produces two clay dust. If I put all of it in at the exact same time, it would be, but it's not, so, yeah. Okay, there we go. We have the lithium we need. We have the silicon from all solar panels. We have more aluminum. That's weird. That was very weird. Something happened in my headset. We have more aluminum, which is always nice, and we have sodium for sodium for sulfate. As you can see, it's uh, the macerators are almost keeping up. If we count like the seconds between each one of these, two. So approximately 11 seconds in between, and then this takes uh, 10 seconds. Oh. Well, I guess I could... Um, it wouldn't be enough power. I was thinking about uh, overclocking every macerator, but no, it wouldn't be worth it. But also, that also means that we're producing a ridiculous excess of power that I could be storing in, say... A bat box or something to charge back my back pack. Eh, I'll do that later. But also, over here, we're going to get the hardened sand and we are going to cover every bit we mined up. So hopefully the biome does look decent after we completely demolish it. Um, yeah. Just to make it look nicer. And this hardened sand is completely useless, so I don't really care. Like, it's literally almost completely useless. It's made for... It's used in facades, and that's it. There you go. And then later I might smooth out this, but yeah. To mining, I'm going to get four more stacks. Okay, so we have finally mined out those things of clay. The saw is so, so slow. Um, when we get advanced tools, it's going to be a lot better. But yeah, we are going to drop off the clay here. Um, we might, we are going to drop off more cells. I'm not sure if we can right now, though. Uh, no, not yet. Um, but I'm just going to wait around until all that processes, and, um, I might do a little bit of terraforming here, and then we might set up this chemical reactor. Yes. Um, oh yeah, so I'm going to get my sodium cells then. Or not, not my sodium, my, uh, sulfur cells. So yeah. I will be right back. So, the last of the sulfur is finishing up. Uh, I also made a bat box. Because over here, I thought I had a full MFE, and now it's uh, basically empty MFE. Um, so I might actually use those lava tank... Actually, no, I need, I need those for the mining. Eh. I need a good power source really soon. Oh, right. Sulfur is done. We're going to have um, eight stacks of uh, sodium sulfide, I think. So, yeah. so did you? Uh, yeah, sodium sulfide. That's the wrong way. And then in turn, from that eight stacks of sodium sulfide, 
we can turn that into like uh, 20 stacks of sodium persulfate and that's gonna be enough to process all of the copper and tin I believe are basically the only two that um, oh that benefit a lot from it um, yeah but 20 stacks is a lot and then um, we should get a better one I can't remember what it's called there's a there's a liquid that you can use or not a liquid a cell that you could use to triple your iron um, I can't remember what it's called. Why do I keep pressing the J button? No, not not iron. Um, refined iron. Uh, this stuff, the calcium carbonate, and that's um. So calcium's easy. That's a skeleton farm. Uh, carbon, which is just the charcoal, and then oxygen, which is just air. So that is calcium and carbon. Yeah, that's gonna be extremely easy to make. And then we can triple our iron, um, triple our gold from the mercury that we're gonna be getting by uh, centrifuging 62 stacks of redstone and um, uh, tripling our not no we're just getting can you triple your tin I don't think you can triple your tin because when you use this Anyways, yeah, we're going to get most efficient out of almost everything. Uh, I'm going to try and use as little water to process the ores and the grinder as possible. Uh, but we are running out of time this episode, I believe. And hopefully this bat box isn't making this stutter. No, it is not. Okay. Just the excess power. And place the five stacks of cells in there. Then we can try with one stack right now. So again, on the other side, we're going to place, or no, put it directly on the bat box. We'll keep that like that for now. Why is the power going? Wow, we can store a lot of power. Okay, let's give it a little boost then. Okay, so we're going to get sodium and sulfur. And that's going to quickly turn into... Aha, sodium sulfide. And then we just need to mix it with air, which is just a lot of cells. Um, so that's going to happen soon. So we're using 32 EU per tick at uh, for five seconds. Yeah, that's ooh, freaking raw. There we go. Our lithium farm is, or no, yeah, basically our MFE farm is up and running. We're getting the lithium we need, the aluminum we need, lots of silicon. I'm actually going to bring these two back. Four more cells. And leaves these there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I think there's one more thing I want to do. Um... Jeez, I can't remember.
Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this episode, and I will see you next time.